Hello everyone, Quill18 here. This is my first attempt at a voiceover a commentary, uh, so please bear with me as I figure this all out. So, what I'm going to do is just show you the very basics of how to play League of Legends, and this is an absolute intro video, and a lot of the strategies uh, I'm going to discuss here are not going to be the ones that you're going to use to get to very, very high levels of play, but it will get you to learn the very basics. For example, you have uh, you start the game with some money, 475 gold. You should definitely use that to buy an item, and which item you buy uh, is is dependent entirely on your play style and which hero you're going to play. However, for a beginner, I would highly recommend that you get something with health regeneration first. You're going to be taking a lot of damage from little mistakes early on, and you're going to want to be able to get that back. So, this is the shop. At the top, you see the list of recommended items. Now, <clears throat> depending on the hero that you're using, this may or may not be completely useless. Um, <clears throat> and going forward, at the very least, you aren't, you're going to want to be able to uh, pick and choose your own items and really get something that really works well for you. Uh, so, take a moment and look through the menus on the left-hand side, and you'll be able to see all the little items that are available. Um, they're grouped by category and then by subcategory. So, for example, if I were to click on Defense, here you would see subcategories of health, magic resist, health regen, and armor. Um, and sometimes items fall under more than one category. But as I said, I would recommend some health regeneration to start off with, so let's take a look at that. And you've got a few options. You've got three that you can afford right now. Uh, the one that offers you the most, most regeneration is the regrowth pendant. And we're just going to click once on this to highlight it. And over here it gives you more details about the item. Uh, it tells you the cost, tells you exactly what the, the item uh, does. And it shows you a requirement here, which may not make much sense to you, because regrowth pendant requires regrowth pendant. Like, that's just all it is. Um, but if you click on a bigger item, one of the higher priced ones, you can see these items are crafted using a recipe. And you can buy an item at any point by double clicking on it, double -clicking on it either on the left hand side or uh, within the right hand panel. Uh, so, for example, I'm looking at Warmog's armor here, and if I wanted to build this, I could do it starting now by buying one of the items that makes it up. For example, I could buy this regrowth pendant. Um, now, Warmogs is a good item for tanks, not so much for ash, so we're not going to be doing that. But I will pick up the regrowth pendant because it gives you a lot of health regeneration and will uh, will just help compensate for a lot of little mistakes you might make. Also, at the top here, you can see the items that a regrowth pendant can be turned into. And the one on the left is the Philosopher's Stone. The Philosopher's Stone is probably one of the best items for new players to build, um, because what it gives you is it gives you the health regeneration from the regrowth pendant, and then gives you mana regeneration from the mechie pendant later when you get when you get it. And then when you combine the two into the philosopher's stone, you get an item that gives you even more health regeneration, even more mana regeneration, plus gold every ten seconds. And when you're a new player, you will have trouble making gold quickly. So it's really helpful to build the Philosopher's Stone as your first item. Of course, you can't buy it directly, because the total cost of the item is uh, just over 1,100 gold, and you don't have that much when you start off. So just buy one of the components, and again, usually the, re the recommendation for me will be Regrowth Pendant, especially when you're starting out. So we've got to buy that, and I'm going to close out of the shop. And of course, the game started at this point, and the bots are busy killing each other, but I'm going to run to the, uh, the bottom lane. So the game, the main... The normal map, if you look in the bottom right corner, is divided into three major lanes. You've got the middle, which is usually a solo or a one on one lane, and then you've got the top and the bottom. And the top and bottom usually have two heroes from each side that go there. When you are starting out, you're not going to want to take the middle lane, the center lane, uh, because it's a lot harder and there's a lot more pressure on the individual performance uh, when you're solo. So if you go into um, one of the top or bottom lanes, uh, you're going to have an ally with you and hopefully you can cover each other. And what you want to do, as you can see, you've got your minions and they've got their minions. Um, and they're, they're busy killing each other and ultimately they're trying to push through to each other's towers like you can see here. Uh, but at the start of the game there's not going to be a lot of action. I mean, if you get lucky you can kill your opponents, maybe. Um, wow. He was pretty low, I might have been able to kill him. But your goal at the start of the game is simply to uh, get experience points in gold. Um, for experience points, all you, have to be, all you have to do is be near something when it dies. 
But for money, what you have to do is you have to land the killing blow on one of these minions to get the money. And you'll know that you've done it right because you'll hear the ching of the money and you will uh, see the gold amount pop over their head. I'll take this moment to talk about summoner spells. You pick two of them when you join a game uh, and they show up down here. And your choice of summoner spells is also very personal and very based on what you what hero you're playing. And uh, there really isn't a wrong or right answer. And um, if nothing else, part of the issue is that you don't get all the summoner spells right when you start off. Um, you only get a limited subset. However, you get a few that are really, really quite good. When you're new to the game, teleport is going to be really important for you. In fact, teleport is always okay, but I find when you're new to the game, you will either die a lot or take a lot of damage, so you're going to be heading back to the base quite often. And you want to get back to the action as quickly as possible, and having teleport will help you do that. You click on teleport, you click on any friendly minion or tower, and you teleport straight there after a couple of seconds. You cannot teleport to a friendly hero. Your other, your, your second summoner spell, there's a lot of options. And when you're just starting off, getting something like heal may help you stay in a lane fast longer. Um, but I'm a big fan of getting ghost. Ooh, I just killed Master Yi. I'm a big fan of getting ghost because uh, it's a good tool for allowing you to escape or chase down an enemy. Now, when you're just starting out, you're going to want to try to keep that for escape. Always have your finger over the hotkey. Uh, for example, it's D uh, for your first spell and F for your secondary spell. Always have your finger over the hotkey and be prepared to hit it and then run away. Um, it'll, Ghost will help you run really fast and it's a great escape tool. So now I'm back in my lane. I have gotten a few last hits on these things. Um, but as you can see, even though I'm level 4, I haven't purchased any of my skills yet, and that would normally be a horrible thing, uh, but I'm trying to, uh, I want to save it so I could talk about it. So you can see the little pluses down here. Every time you level up, you can spend a point in a skill. <clears throat> and there's, I mean, every hero obviously will have different skills, but also uh, there's usually at least a couple ways to build a hero. So the order that you get skills in is going to be very dependent on, on your personal choices. For Ash, her key skill is her um, her volley. By far, that's uh, that's her biggest, you know, most iconic skill, uh, next to her ultimate. So we're gonna put points in there. <clears throat> now I can't put all my points in there because you're limited on how many ranks you can put in based on your level. So we're gonna have to put points in something else as well. This is her ability on her E key right now, Plentiful Bounty. Now this is about to be changed in a patch, which is a good thing because it's a terrible ability and you never want to put any points into it whatsoever. It's just awful. But her Frost Shot is okay, so we're going to put a point, a couple of points in there. So I got my Volley and I'm going to show you how to launch it. Volley is what's considered to be a skill shot. So if I hit the key, you're going to see where it's going to go. And then I just left click to fire. And there you go, another level. Now at level 6 you get your ultimate ability. This is on your R key. And it tends to be a very, very powerful effect. Uh, and that's definitely the case for Ash as well. Okay, as you can see we've uh, taken out some of the, or one of the base turrets at this point. And I have no doubt that we're going to win this game, although against bots I never really had any doubt. Uh, so I'm going to wrap this up here and just say, again, the moves I've made with Ash, and the items I've bought with Ash, are certainly far from the ideal professional choice. But I will tell you this, starting with Philosopher's Stone with basically any any character, when you are a new player, will never be a bad move. It will never be a horrible move. There are probably better moves once you get experience, but it will be really, really helpful. Um, boots second, very key. And after that, try to find items that are compatible with the general idea of your character and build those. And what the idea is, is to do one video with each of the three basic types of characters and really investigate it. That's to say, someone who's a physical DPSer, someone who's a spellcaster, and someone who's a tank. And we can look at what general items you may want for any one of those. And that will work sort of more or less regardless of which actual character you're playing. So until next time, I hope you enjoy League of Legends and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.